Hey, Brian. Yeah. So uh, you want to see if we actually uh, got three kilograms before the quad decided to go on vacation? I, yeah, I'm very excited to see what came of this. Okay, so this was actually <laughs> the first run. Um, Alex, let's go ahead and show them the raw footage. Hello, I'm Father Robert Balliser, the Digital Jesuit, and this is my entry for the Hobby King Beer Lift 2015 in the uh, 250 class. Now, uh, this is my quadcopter right here. Oh, I'm sorry, my octocopter. I call it the... Uh, Yo dog, octocopter, as in yo dog, I heard you like flying, so I put a quadcopter on your quadcopter so you can fly while you fly. It's just two Diotone 250 frames that were purchased from Hobby King. And uh, for my beer, unfortunately I do live in a house of priests, so the beer was consumed rather quickly. So let's go ahead and measure my equivalent. Uh, you may have noticed that I have frozen it, but it is still, it is still refreshment. And I've got 3,850 grams worth of refreshment in, uh, in my quad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Happy New Year! Woohoo! And keep it up for just some measure before we start to bring it down. And uh, Hobby King, for your consideration, that is my Yo Quad lifting up 3,850 grams. I'm Father Robert Ballas here, Padre SJ on Twitter.com. Peace. So what do you think, huh? Okay, three <laughs> they grams. They said it couldn't be they done, said, and that was amazing. We yeah. said three kilograms, and we actually did 3.85 kilograms. And for a little bit longer, too. A Way longer than the 10 seconds. Yeah. Now, uh, here was the thing. So I went to go ahead and post that on Hobby King's website, because that would have been the top. Right. And as I'm, I'm posting, I found out that someone had done 5,011 grams. I'm like, oh. But for how? No. For sustained? For sustained. For sustained 10 seconds. So I, I needed to up my game a little bit. Okay. Now, I, I do want to show you something. There, there wasn't a whole lot that I could, I could change uh, because I was kind of locked into the design. Right. This thing weighs a, a good kilogram and a half just by itself. And the right. batteries are taking up a lot of that. The frames, unfortunately, were taking up a lot of that. So there was very little I could change except this. Mm -hmm. These were the props that I was running on that 3,850 uh, uh, 3, gram lift. These are six by four by five, six by 4.5. So mm -hmm. six inches by 4.5 inches of pitch. Uh, pretty aggressive, but I didn't think I could get enough lift off of these to do a five kilogram lift. Okay. So what I had to do was I switched from these. So these are, again, these are from Ready to Fly. Yeah. Uh, I asked Paul Baxter, I said, what do you have that could increase my, uh, uh, my the draw on the motor. capacity. <laughs> and so he sent me these. These are bullnose. As you can see, these have, these have a flat a flat edge. Uh, they're actually much thicker on the edges than, than these props. Does that add to rigi oh, rigidity? Or? Well, it, it adds the amount of thrust ah, because you have okay. more surface area being uh, pushed through the air, so you're pushing more air down. Okay. This actually gave me about 10% more thrust at the same motor speed. Wow. It did draw a whole heck of a lot faster on the battery pack, I will say that. Okay. Because I could have I could have flown for probably a good minute with that load, with these props, mm -hmm. but the second I went over to these, I mean, I was down to 10 seconds, 20 seconds it of It sounds time. really mean, too. <laughs> it's really, like really mean. a hive of angry bees. And, and the other thing is, if you heard, if you listened to that, there was like a chirping. Yeah. Uh, that was actually one of the ESCs starting to let go. It was not... It wasn't happy with was that much very, power running through it, huh? Very not happy. Uh, so I, I did, I, I had four of those frozen water bottles for the 3,085. <laughs> now, why did you freeze them? Oh, this was a secret. And if people start doing this in the future, I will, I will claim that they, came, they got it from me. Yeah. One of the biggest problems you have is the weight sloshing. 
Yeah, and I mean, you did see it a little bit of that it's, pendulum yeah, happening. Because the, the flight controller keeps trying to correct, and it, it, it causes really bad oscillation. But by freezing the water, you're adding one thing that's not sloshing back and forth. Right. Now, what I probably should have done is I should have given it a rigid connection to the quadcopter, to the octocopter, so that the weight itself wasn't sloshing. But it really did help. Because right. the first flight I ever did was with liquid water, and it was hell to try to hover. I mean, that, that was pretty stable. I stayed in one spot. Yeah. That was yeah. solid. I, it, the most difficult thing it looked like was takeoff, getting it to yes. center, and then landing. You have to go just a little off and then come down. With yeah. this system, I probably should have used longer rope. It's hard because you yeah. have to. T it's hard. It's super, super sensitive. A tiny bit of throttle makes the thing want to jump. Right. But you had to get it over the weight and then start to lift because if you lift it off axis, what would happen was as you lifted it, it left the ground. It would swing out and pull it, and then you'd start this. Yeah. Then it's just like a death copter. It's a death <laughs> it's really, it's really, really unstable. Uh, but you want to see what happens when I try five thousand grams? <laughs> because you wanted to win. You wanted. Really you didn't want to come into second yeah. place. You wanted to win. The, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Alex. Uh, let's go ahead and show them some fails. So that is five thousand fifty-seven grams. Oh, fifty-eight. Five thousand fifty-eight grams. Oh, great. I'm collecting condensation. Uh, and I'm going to try to lift that with my with my yo dog. Uh, oh, a couple of things. I should mention that I am way out of my safe limits with this. This is way more than this was designed for, but we're going to try to do it nonetheless. Right, take the slack out. So that did not go according to plan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Too much twisting. Let's try it again. Okay. And full power. Got 10 seconds. I think I need to replace some props. <laughs> this may be the second time I have to rebuild the yoke quad. Uh, but I'll check the footage. I think I got 10 seconds of flight there. If not, it's cool. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, and who knows, maybe I can get another flight out of it. Follow the Robert Ballas air, and uh, <laughs> that's my Yo Dog Octocopter for your consideration. So, <laughs> issues? Uh, I knew you were in trouble as soon as it went <laughs> off camera. It, it, that's the, I mean, I needed someone to follow. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it in frame. It yeah. was off the ground, yeah. but the, the weight just started doing this. And then, and then uh, the, actually, that, the middle crash, mm -hmm. what had happened was I, uh, I didn't secure one of the control leads, and it came out from the frame. It got sliced. By so it was only running on seven. It was running motors, on seven then. motors, and that happened after it was already in the air, and so it was like, ah, I don't know what to do. Pfft. Oh yeah, man! So um, thank this, you. For... This is what happens. <laughs> you have a lot of this stuff, a little shrapnel. You probably have a lot more of those at your I place, have a don't lot you? Of those. And that last one was what did this in. So it, it hit hard enough that it, it snapped the frame off. I was gonna rebuild it, but the yeah. issue I was having was I knew that I was at the limit, like five thousand. 50 grams is about, I, I, if, I, if I change the battery plant a little bit, maybe mm -hmm. shave something off the frame, I probably would have been able to do 10, 10 seconds with 5,050. Yeah. But right after I filmed that, someone hit 5,500 grams. I'm like, I, I, this Can't. setup won't do it.